You can also add an existing circuit into the icon menu in AutoCAD Electrical. Now we're staying in the Demo 14 project and we're using the Demo 10 drawing. What I've done is I've zoomed into an existing circuit in the Demo 10 drawing to use as the active view for the icon that goes into the icon menu when we actually create it to go into the icon menu in a moment. We're going to go to the schematic tab on the ribbon, go right across to the right hand side into the other tools panel and you click on this icon here, icon menu wizard. Now make sure that you select the appropriate menu file. We're going to be inserting our circuit into the schematic icon menu, not the panel icon menu. Notice the names are different and they change when you click on the button. We want schematic. Now it may be that you need to browse to your schematic menu file, which is normally a DAT file. OK, so just be careful there. If you need to browse, there's the browse button, but it is the schematic menu file we're using. So I click on OK there. This looks just like the icon menu. It is in fact the icon menu wizard. Look at the name of the dialog box. It looks very similar looks very much like your regular icon menu, which it should do, but in the top right, I can add a new circuit. We're going to give it the same name as the W block circuit that we used in previous videos. So there's the name of our circuit ready to go into our icon menu. Now the image file I'm going to use, I'm just going to click on active there, and it takes the active view that I had zoomed in here in the drawing area. So make sure that you're zoomed in before you start adding circuits to the icon menu. I'm going to create a PNG from the current screen image, and you can see that the image file is going to be called Demo 10. Now what you might want to do there is copy that there, and then paste it into there. Then it's all got the same name and it all corresponds with each other. Circuit drawing file next. We need to give the file a name. I'm just going to click here, Control V, and copy that in there. It automatically adds a DWG suffix for you, so you don't need to put that in the file name itself. It saves that to a known location, which is one of your preferred folders in your project properties. So you don't need to worry too much about where that particular DWG is going. You can go and look for it, but it's a big long path and I don't recommend it. Just go with what it says there on the screen. Everything's done and all set up for the icon details, so I click on OK. It will prompt me if I want to replace my DWG. I'll OK that, that's fine, because what I did previously to this video was tested the locations where the file was going to go. So there was already a file of the same name in there. Now I need a base point so that when I insert my circuit from the icon menu, it knows where to insert it from. I'm going to go for that corner there, the end point snap. Then I'm going to select the objects that make up the circuit that go into the DWG file so that when I click on the icon menu, it's actually got a circuit to insert. So I'm going to do a crossing selection and select everything here. Then I press enter to confirm. And there's my circuit 1401 in the icon menu. So if I now click on OK, I've now saved this circuit to the icon menu ready to be used for other AutoCAD electrical drawings in my project.